Hello everyone, welcome to Wellness Wednesday. So this is the last one in 2022 and we're moving into 2023. So uh, the end of the year is always a bit of a flu season. People get colds um, or just having sore throat, stuffy nose. It can be because we have a lot of um, feelings during this season, sometimes a bit emotional or it can even be a bit stressful seeing seeing family, um, just changes, not having our usual routine with, with work and also there may be some travel. So our immune system definitely can react to that. And I wanted to present to you today the small intestine flow, which is really a dynamic, powerful, simple little flow to help with any um, symptoms from a flu or a cold. So it can be a uh, sore throat or fullness in the head. It's a flow that descends, it's moved down. So it moves energy out of the head and then down, helping our exhale. And it's also a great flow for ear infections, which um, or anything related to the ears, since a part of it goes into the ear. So dynamic and for the self-help, I'm going to use uh, the art of Jinshin. It's also in the core and I will read you some notes from that. But for the self-help, we're going to use the art of Jinshin. So it's a little bit, a tiny little bit different from when you practice it on someone else. Although, of course, whatever you practice on yourself, you can always share with a loved one and practice on a loved one. So we're going to start by opening up our waistline by holding the 19s and 19 is in the small intestine flow um, small intestine flow begins in the little finger and then moves down the arm through the elbow so it's a dynamic flow to help uh, elbow projects um, tennis elbow shoulder projects because um, it moves up into the shoulder and then crosses to the other side so also neck projects uh, and then it moves through the throat through the opposite throat here so if we practice the left side you will help the right throat and if we practice the right side you will help the left throat so um, Knowing your organ flows is always helpful, but if you don't know, you can always practice both sides and that's absolutely fine. So opening up the 19s, helping to clear our waistline and the waistline has all to do with our mind. So the 19s help to calm our mind. Um, I was just talking a bit about transactional analysis as well. It, the 19th and the waistline tell us about our adult state, which is our executive functioning. So there's not a lot of uh, feelings that come into a, our adult ego state. And it's very important that we have our adult around so that we're not just all weepy and getting all stressed out, but that we can stay centered and, and focused and just really work with our mind. and. I know often we say we want to get out of the mind, but we also use the mind to our advantage. And this is one of the ways we do it to have a clear mind so it, that we can make clear decisions. So again, the 19, you can place your thumb here on the thumb sides and wrap your fingers around. You may find some tender spots here or however it feels comfortable for you to hold. And then we'll go um, into the flow, which we're going to place our hands on the 11s and just stay on the side that feels more um, in need for you. And then you're going to place the other hand on the opposite 13, which is at the third rib here. So you can count one, two, three. Now, if you have a sore throat, you may want to explore your 13s first and go to the side where the 13 is tighter. So if it's this side, we place our other hand on the 11. And just take a few nice breaths here. Like I said, it's the descending part, um, descending flow, descending part of the fifth cycle, depth number five. And 
the previous flow is the heart flow. So the heart flow moves from the chest into the little finger where it becomes the small intestine flow and then moves down the arm. So the um, emotional attitude related to it is trying too hard or efforting and we want to be authentic, we want to be true to ourselves, we want to be in the moment and not having to try hard or effort because that will burden this fifth cycle of energy, depth five. Depth five also helps and supports our skeletal system. So for broken bones, uh, bone surgery, if you tend to uh, get accidents, accident prone, then this flow will be dynamic also. Let's take a breath here. Completely exhale to the toes so that we can inhale and receive the abundance. We exhale down the front. Letting go, letting go of everything don't, we don't need anymore. Letting go of everything that we've built up in 2022 and that no longer serves us. So that we can inhale and receive the abundance that 2023 has to offer us. Just take some note if the SEL 13 uh, opened up, meaning that it's not tight, or sensitive or congested. It moves very quickly and we do want to be gentle here. We don't want to press because women have breast tissue there and it's very sensitive. So just hold it lightly and wait till you feel pulsation. Very nice. And then we're going to move our hand from the 13 to safety energy location number one, which is located on the inside of the knee. And it's the prime mover. Again, making us move forward from 2022 gracefully into 2023. And safety energy location one will help us and support us in that making that step into the new year. So make sure that you feel the breath moving into your abdomen, into the left side and into the right side, filling up your lungs so that we are receiving the full oxygen that's accessible to us. So when this flow is in deficiency, um, when it is lagging behind, when it's not up to speed, um, we may lose strength in our body to lift heavy things because our arms will get weaker since small intestine moves into the arms. So if you feel the weakness in our arms or our voice becoming hoarse, again, um, a part of this flow moves through the throat and in particular the opposite side that we're practicing. So the side that you're holding this 13 is the side um, of the throat that it supports as well. And any flu or cold symptoms will be helped by the small intestine flow. Also great for fevers. I hope you're breathing along with me and practicing uh, along. And then the last step, very simple little flow, is we're going to move our hand from safety energy location one to seven, which is located right here at the sole of the foot. And at the, it's at the pad of the toe. And I also like to hold with my thumb the nail. So it's like I'm sandwiching the big toe. And the big toe safety energy location number seven is also called stillness. It is where the exhale becomes the inhale. And so if you go all the way to the tip of the toe is where the exhale becomes the inhale. So very important that that is, um, area is harmonious and that there's no congestion there. And sometimes you can really feel the difference between the right side and the left side. So open up that tip of the toe. Safety energy location seven also means perfect life power. So 
a powerful safety energy location. Very nice. On the nail where you're holding with your thumb, we also have some important um, organ flows that start here to name them. Spleen and liver start in the big toe. So that's why I like to sandwich it to get those organ flows moving as well. Very nice. And let's quickly move through the other side. So we're going to place our hand on 11 and the opposite 13 at the third rib. Let's take two nice breaths here. And then we're going to move to safety energy location number one. So again, this flow also supports our upper arms, shoulders, um, and the ears. So really practice it for any ear project and see what happens. But it's also great for ear infections in children and flying on a plane when you feel your ears popping or when they get uh, congested and they need to pop, get into your little finger, holding the little finger. And then the last step is holding the seven safety energy location seven which is the big toe so when you're lying down you can do figure four which is a nice stretch for the outside of your leg um, if holding your big toe is not comfortable then you can finish at the one always make the art of jinshin comfortable for you tailor it to what works for you physically um, we don't want to strain when we practice the art of jinshin so that it's comfortable and even if you practice the first step then you get the whole flow moving just the time of day is uh, 2 till 4 which means that small intestine peaks at 2 p.m so if you do get tired in the afternoon between 2 and 4 look at small intestine flow and practice it before 2 p.m so that the flow has the energy to peak okay and one little mudra that helps small intestine is holding the little finger and the ring finger like this wrapping your palm around these fingers helping the small intestine so that's a little mudra that i wanted to share with you and i wish you all a very happy new year very happy and successful healthy fun 2023